Hey y'all, it's a costume jeweler. We are still in Round Top, Texas. This is day two and video three. So check out those other two videos. They come out about every other day. We're going now into McLaren's Antiques and Interiors. So in Round Top, Texas, you've got several miles of two-lane Texas farm-to-market roads to shop. You just pull over, go into a barn, go into a store, and shop till you drop. So we're looking for purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, trinkets, antiques, anything that I can hang on my balls or bring for resale on YouTube live sales. On those sales, we mainly have whatnots, doodads, trinkets, knickknacks, perfume bottles, and vintage jewelry. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up for this video. Hit that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on these video uploads that I do. Thrifting, estate sales, garage sales, all kinds of places, shopping. And make sure that notification bell turns black so that you're notified of everything. So let's go in here and see what we can find. So the Round Top Spring Market is every March and October. But you can always visit this little town in the off season too. They're still going to be shopping here but in March and October, it goes from a population of 90 people to over 100,000, no joke. Look at this beautiful red barn right here, red door, and look at that. That's probably old and original to the building. Love the British flag. Quick story, LaGrange, Texas, near here is where my grandparents are buried. They came over here in the mid 1800s from England. So I love this right here. LaGrange is only eight miles away. So Had to walk back outside real quick to show y'all this. Great thing about shop with me videos and thrift with me is I get to take you places that normally you may not be able to go so that's the fun of doing it also not just showing you what we're picking up or as we say in the channel pecking up for resale but also so y'all can see a lot of different things around here let's just walk this out real quick before we go in so they're gonna have a mixture some of these places are gonna have a mixture of new and old items I love this old clock tower. Let's take a closer look at that. See, so yeah, a lot of these places are going to have new and old items. So not always necessarily antique. But make sure you hit that thumbs up for this video. I love running around different places and taking y'all out on excursions with me. It's so much fun. Been doing this three years. We hit 20, we're nearly at 25,000 subscribers. So thank y'all for that. If it weren't for y'all, I wouldn't be there with that number. So it definitely takes a village. Look at this old truck. And I'm not sure if this right here is original. Thing you got to worry about or not worry about but watch out for when you're out here in texas or anywhere in the country and you're around area you know old wood look at these mega bird houses got to watch out for wasps ladies wasp ladies and gentlemen because we have those look at all this stuff this stuff's not even for sale out here that i know of but look at these amazing works of art right here. I love that chair so much. Look at what it says here on the bottom. So I am going to. So these chairs right here, not sure what they were used for, but they are original. And then you've got this right here. That tells you a little bit of genuine Ridgeback in England. Not sure what that means. I'll take a shot of that, check it out. But beautiful chairs. I love these so much. Maybe they are for sale out here. They are. $225. So these antiques out here are for sale as well. So they specialize in 
handmade furniture. That's what the lady just told me. And look at all those telephone booths everywhere. So hopefully they'll let us video. We'll see when we go in. It's always a great shout out to the stores when you do it. For sure. So hopefully they won't mind. So let's go in and check it out. So I think they're going to have new furniture in here, or at least handmade with old materials. We won't get to see everything in here, but we'll see a lot of stuff, hopefully. Look at these floors, y'all. So they are okay with us videoing, y'all. So we're going to walk around. So this is 20,000 square feet of a lot of everything. They source all of these items from different countries. The lady that owns it's from England. They're only open about six weeks, about four times a year, I think. So we're going to look around for a little bit here. Because I have family with me. And Round Top is such a big place. Look at all this. So if you are in Round Top, you've definitely got to visit McLaren's. So again, we're not going to see everything, but we're going to see a lot. So they specialize in making tables like this out of reclaimed wood. And then of course, sourcing antiques and vintage items for resale for your home. 20,000 square feet. Look at all those old books right there. This building's just the greatest building too. So architecturally, everything is amazing. Look at these floors. So 20,000 square feet, and then they have another building uh, that's several more thousand square feet. But it's closed today because they're packing it up. Or putting more things in it. Look at this beautiful bag right here. Mirror bag. So I've seen a lot of mirror bags down here in uh, Round Top. Scientific apparatus. What would y'all use that for? This place is crazy. And I love it when people hang chandeliers this close to a dining table. So it looks like every space is pretty much set up kind of like dining areas, living areas, things like that. I'm just in love with these old floors, y'all. Look at this. And it's so nice and cool in here.
So we'll probably keep this as a separate video just because it's so unique from just shopping for antiques. I mean, there's definitely antiques here, but the store is... Should have a video of its own for sure, not mixed in with other videos because it is amazing. So again, 20,000 square feet. I won't be able to show you everything. There's just so much. But we're gonna show you quite a bit. Wow, look at that. Look at these floors again, y'all. I'm just so amazed by the floors. Did we fit 45 people at this table? I believe so. What is the history of these old doors? Look at these, y'all. 1900. Love that each entrance to these rooms are a different old door from a different time period. Let's see what this one is. 1900. One thing I love about antique fairs and flea markets is the decor. I mean, the people that own these stores definitely know how to pack up things and for sure know how to decorate. One of these crazy guys right here. Oh, he's cute. What is he? His name is Pip. This one right here is fat and happy. And for the cat lovers out there, look at this one.
So y'all, just so you know, these videos are unedited. I don't go home and edit anything. What you see is what you get. So we just look around together. That's why it's a shot with me. The only editing I do in these videos is a stop and go. And I don't think I'll hardly ever stop. I think we just keep on going. What is this right here? I think that was probably used to carry supplies. Look at all this, y'all. Twenty thousand square feet. Look at this old sign right here. Another unique entryway. I love the old maps. Old chopping block. Oh wow, look at this. We'll head up the other side of the store here. Now you have a good feel for all of this beautifulness in here. You never know what you're gonna find where. Look at that. So head on up to the front. Let's look around this side here. They even have bags up there. So again, 20,000 square feet. McLaren's, Round Top, Texas. Antiques from all different countries. Handmade tables. Specializing in handmade tables from reclaimed wood. Nothing new here, all antique show. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, click all. Until next video, we will see y'all later. Bye.